Egyptian vulture, one of the most incredible birds living on the planet. Beautiful, intelligent, inspiring, sacred. Now globally endangered, it is the fastest declining bird of prey in Europe. For the past 30 years, the population of the Egyptian vulture in the Balkans has declined by 80%, and today there are under 50 pairs across the entire Balkan Peninsula. Along its migration route, which covers Europe, the Middle East and Africa, it faces many different challenges. Losing this majestic, culturally resonant and environmentally important species is a real and imminent possibility. There is hope, however. More than 20 organisations from 14 countries along its migration route joined forces to protect it, celebrate it and share its story. The project team, working collaboratively across continents, have taken action to implement mitigation methods along the whole flyway and raise awareness of the plight of the Egyptian vulture among the public. Only by doing both can the future of this iconic bird be secured. Only time will tell if the project team has been successful, but in this video we'll cover the work done and what the project team achieved. To begin the project, the team thoroughly investigated the main reasons for the high mortality rate of the Egyptian vulture. By equipping vultures with satellite transmitters, they were able to identify the main causes of mortality and the most dangerous regions it travels through on migration. They found out that a vulture's biggest enemies are electrocution, poisoning and direct persecution. To save the Egyptian vulture, each of these key threats will need to be addressed where they are most prevalent. By observing the migration of the species, the team estimated the population trends within the Balkans, its breeding ground, and the impact of key threats along the flyway. The next step was to design and implement measures that would reduce or eliminate the impact of those threats. Taking direct conservation action was key to the success of this project. From insulating power lines to sniffing out poison with trained dogs, the variety of work done across the partnership was significant and challenging. Electrocution is one of the most significant threats along the flyway, especially in Jordan, and the mitigating of its effect is of crucial importance for both the Egyptian vulture and many other migratory soaring birds. The illegal persecution of wild animals happens all over the world, and it's no different along the migration route of the Egyptian vulture. Seeking out persecution, rehabilitating apprehended individual birds, and working to end illegal killing was a significant part of the project in Lebanon. The poisoning of predators is commonplace in many Balkans countries, where livestock farming comes into contact with nature. Once a predator dies from a poison bait, scavenging birds, including the Egyptian vulture, consume the carcass and unfortunately the poison too. To combat this, partners across the Balkans have worked to limit the use of poison by working with farmers and through legislation and by detecting and removing poison from the environment using trained dog units. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, enter the ecosystem through dead livestock scavenged by birds like the Egyptian vulture. The effect on vulture populations has been shown to be catastrophic across the Indian subcontinent, and the impact on the Egyptian vulture is also significant. Working to ban the use of diclofenac and other NSAIDs in Jordan, Saudi Arabia and Syria has been a focus for the project. It was critical to work on the Egyptian vulture across its breeding range, which meant the Balkans team, and especially the lead partner, the BSPB, had several key actions to implement. Captive breeding was important in ensuring that while interventions to reduce the decline of the species were being put in place, the population could survive and sustain itself into the future. Supplementary feeding played a role in ensuring the individuals breeding in the Balkans were able to find safe food and be monitored in the process. Working with local people to watch nests and reduce disturbance meant breeding pairs were safe and local communities could engage with, and be a part of, saving nature around them. Working with partners in Africa to address one of the most sensitive threats facing the Egyptian vulture involved directly working with local tribes and chiefs. 
As filming in Nigeria and Niger can be very challenging, here's Joseph Onoja, Director General of the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, to talk about the issue. Because in Nigeria, one of the drivers of the vulture population generally is used in a belief base that is traditional medicine. So we needed to engage the traditional healers and we needed to engage the market sellers as well uh, that are involved in this and find a way to be able to uh, reduce uh, the use of vultures uh, because uh, using belief is something that is not just eliminated at once. So we're trying to engage them to see how we can change their, their beliefs and change their, the, the method they, they use. The Egyptian vulture is a unique species with incredible cultural significance and a long history all along its migration range. Working to protect this iconic bird has always meant recognising and respecting its importance to people. Implementing conservation actions to save the Egyptian vulture are of course critical to preserving the species, but to preserve the legacy of the project and to inspire people to care, the Egyptian vulture must live on and be celebrated in the hearts and minds of the millions of people that live along the flyway. In solidarity with the challenging migration route and distance the Egyptian vulture has to fly, the Mile for the Egyptian Vulture campaign sought to engage with runners, walkers and cyclists to race against a real-time migrating Egyptian vulture. Participants stepped up to the challenge to race to save a bird. Millions of people live in the countries the Egyptian vulture flies over on its migration, so the project hoped to reach those millions by getting in front of people in cities and public transport hubs. The project team works at an international scale to make an impact. International Vulture Awareness Day provided a unifying opportunity to celebrate the work of the project with the world. To secure the future of a species, you must inspire a generation. Working with young people across the partnership countries provides hope for the future. Educating young people in schools and inspiring them to care was an important area of focus for the project. Working with livestock owners and farmers meant the project team were able to monitor the Egyptian vulture and bring people coming into contact with the species on a daily basis closer to the project aims and enable buy-in to the goals of saving the species. And hosting conferences in person and online has meant knowledge gained from implementation of the project can be shared with the international conservation community. The success of this project is the legacy it can leave behind, both in what it has achieved to mitigate threats to the Egyptian vulture and the sentiment the project has instilled in the local communities and partners it engaged with. Significant understanding and capacity to identify and mitigate threats along the flyway has been developed within the international partnership. This understanding and the skills acquired to implement mitigation measures will continue to have impact and is backed up firmly by scientific evidence. All along the flyway, communities of local people have engaged with and recognised the need to celebrate the Egyptian vulture and help secure its future. The international working relationships and development of those partnerships are, in a way, the greatest legacy of the project for the future of conservation, both for soaring birds and the global conservation community. All along the flyway, the Egyptian vulture faces threats to life. Some overcome and some yet to be addressed. There will be many old and new challenges in the years ahead, many new people to inspire and partners to work with. It is exactly this approach, collaboration across continents, that has meant the Egyptian Vulture New Life project achieved as much as it did. The project is a shining example of international partnership working and provides a framework and hope for the future. Long may the skies above Africa, the Middle East and the Balkans be graced by the Egyptian vulture.